It's the 26th of August 2022 and IPTV services in the UK is about to explode. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So it's time to ditch the dish and ditch the aerial too now. So Sky have already said that you can ditch the dish with Sky Glass and Sky Puck. Well now it's time to ditch the aerial too. Your roofs will be free of aerials and dishes in next to no time as BT TV has now made itself aerial free. Yep, that's right. IP TV on BT TV. All your channels will now come through the internet should you wish them to. So as of today, BT have announced their BT TV Box Pro will be able to access BT TV aerial free. That's from today. Through the BT TV Pro Box's new internet mode, customers simply plug in and connect to BT Smart Hub via Wi-Fi to start streaming. So this will give you access to all the terrestrial channels. It'll give you to access to more HD channels. So a lot of channels on Freeview, there aren't the HD versions because there simply just isn't the capacity on the transmitters, unlike there is with satellite. So for the first time, BT are now offering the service where you can get a lot of channels, not only without an aerial, but a lot of channels in HD too, and presumably in the future in 4K too. So let's just have a look at the news article released by BT. So it says, BT today announced that the that new and existing BT TV Box Pro customers can now access great TV shows, browse channels and apps all in one place without the need for an aerial. BT TV Box Pros is BT's latest set-top box designed to allow customers to make the most of the great range of TV packages on BT TV, which offer access to the UK's widest choice of the very best TV shows, films and sport. When a customer sets up their BT TV Pro box for the first time, they'll be given the simple option in the setup journey to either connect via internet mode or aerial mode. Alternatively, if already an existing BT TV Box Pro customer, then there's no need for them to change. However, they will still receive an automatic software update, allowing them to reset their connectivity settings if they require in the future. It then goes on to say, in addition to the all new internet mode, BT TV Box Pro provides BT TV customers with, as I said, 4K HDR up to four times the detail of HD, offering vivid pin sharp detail, Dolby Atmos offering the best immersive audio experience, one terabyte of storage, double the capacity of the previous BT TV box with up to 600 hours of recordings, four tuners allowing customers to record up to three shows and watch a fourth simultaneously. Aerial mode, record up to four channels at once. Alternatively, in internet mode, you can record up to two channels at once. Bluetooth remote offering quicker, smoother experience and allows the box to be stored out of sight if needed. Integrated search, helping streamline viewing and removing the need to remember which show is on which platform. It also offers pause, rewind and record functionality, making sure customers never miss their favourite shows. Sharon Meadows, Pro Propositions Director at BT said, we continue to look for ways to enhance the TV experience for our customers. Removing the need for an aerial connection not only gives even more consumers the opportunity to take out BT TV, it also gives our customers even more flexibility with their TV setup, allowing them to access great content from anywhere in their home. BT is also introducing the BT TV Box Mini, a new multi-room compact TV box which allows customers to watch in an extra room of their house, meaning BT TV customers can watch different shows in a different room at the very same time. The BT TV Box Mini works just like the BT TV Box Pro, connecting to the smart hub via Wi-Fi so customers can watch their favourite channels without the need for an aerial. BT TV Box Mini is available for existing BT TV Box Pro customers for an additional £10 per month. So there we go. Not only does it give you the opportunity to have obviously Freeview TV without an aerial, it also allows you to watch some of the BT TV channels as well that you can pay to subscribe to. There's obviously going to be the opportunity to use catch up TV and hopefully options for other VOD providers to get in on the action on this.
Now, it may well be that other manufacturers will adopt this method sooner or later and other internet service providers too. And this is great news because it means that at the bottom line is, as I say, you don't need a dish on your roof, you don't need an aerial. Also, it means if you decide to have a move around and move your TV, you don't need to run cables from the aerial to the new position where you're going to put your TV. Just as long as you get a good internet connection, then that's fine. Now, speaking of the internet connection, I have heard that they are recommending that you have at least 22 megabits per second as a minimum to use this service. It may work um, on a slower speed, but there's no guarantees that it'll work efficiently and you might just have to use aerial mode in that instance. So let us know what you think. Are you ready to ditch your aerial? Are you ready to go all internet TV? Are you, is your broadband reliable enough to go all internet TV? I know a lot of people would say, no, it's not. I mean, at the end of the day, when your internet goes down, if you've got an aerial or a satellite, aerial or satellite dish on your roof, then you've obviously got the option to, uh, to watch TV if you've got no internet. But obviously, if your internet connection goes down, then you've lost everything, haven't you? You've lost your, your, your internet and your TV. The whole entertainment platform has gone if you're putting all your eggs in one basket. Let us know what you think. Do you think this is a good idea do you think in future that it may well be that we could be looking at the terrestrial tv network will be switched off in favor of running everything over internet could it be that sky stop paying astra to rent their satellites which is a very very costly thing to do in favor of, of, of basically running their platform 100% over the internet. Do you even think in 10 years from now we will really have live TV except for the odd live sporting event or the news or, or, or a live event? You know, who knows? The uh, Obviously the whole TV industry has changed in the last 10 years. It could change again quite drastically in the next 10. So whatever your thoughts, let us know in the comments down below. And whilst you're here at my YouTube channel, don't forget I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of topics. Have a look round whilst you're here. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.